I'll now become a knight and the door will open. Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Uh, now, today I'm going to show you automatic player detecting doors uh, that uses wireless redstone to turn things on. So no wires, no uh, pressure plates, no nothing. Now, uh, if you played uh, Run of the Damned uh, and if you've downloaded this map, you'll see I've got a lot of these automatic doors um, pretty much spattered all over my, my maps and so forth. <laughs> and uh, after my live stream the other night, uh, I've got a lot of questions on, on this particular one, how it actually activates. So what I've thought I'm going to do today is a very quick video on showing you how this works. Now, if you, if you have a look at that, that is the redstone. It is a hopper clock running with running with a um, comparator output running into a command block, uh, a comparator output, uh, one repeater, two pieces of uh, redstone dust. Uh, can we get in down there? Two repeaters, and then just an inverted inverted redstone torches. Right, so I'll do a quick build, but let me just quickly show you how this works. So the moment I come within a three block radius of the door, the door will open. And as I walk through, okay, and I get the door will close. So it's three blocks from the door. So it's one, two, three, three blocks from the door. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Actually, it's one block um, and three blocks from the door. Right, so how this works is as I come closer to the door, the door will open. Okay, and as I go through the door, the door will close. Right, so there's no buttons, no opening up, no pressure plates, no nothing, nothing at all. It is all just wirelessly done, like so. And this is exactly how uh, this one over here works, except this one over here is set to only open if I'm in creative mode. So for any user who's in creative mode, it will um, it'll open up uh, open up there. Okay, so let's quickly build it. So I'm just going to go into first person view. Oops, that's not first person view. That's first person view. Okay, so first thing we want to do is hopper clock. So you point two hoppers towards each other like so. Okay, and then you put in an item, any item, it doesn't matter. And you'll see the item will flash in and out because it, 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 it'll flash between the two. Now we're going to take an output from that. So we're just going to hook up a comparator like so. Okay, and now we'll take that output and we'll run it into a command block. Right, so uh, this command block will then kind of test for, so this is really just a test for, so it's test for, uh, test for at player um, r equals 6. Oh, let's just make it 10, so r equals 10. So this is a radius of 10. Now in here you can do anything. You can say team equals red, uh, team equals blue, so it'll only open up for the red team, it'll only open up for the blue team. You can say if somebody has 100 kills, um, uh, add, you know, score, underscore, uh, kills, uh, underscore minimum 100. So this is all will only open if they've got 100 kills. So anything in here you can set to test for before these doors open. Okay, I'm just doing a straightforward um, a radius for any player. Uh, oh, actually, all right, let me just do, uh, let me just, let me do a mode. So mode equals, um, so the player needs to be in creative. So M equals 1. So the player needs to be in creative. Okay, so then we're going to put a comparator uh, on this side. Now you'll see it is actually uh, activated because I am in creative and I am within uh, 10 blocks. Did we say 10 blocks? Yeah, within a 10 blocks radius. So then we put a uh, repeater, a glowstone dust, and another repeater. Now the reason we're doing a repeater over there is because when I take an output from here, uh, it'll only output a signal strength of one, so it won't actually activate both those uh, the, those repeaters. So next, I want a block. So I'll just take my absolute favorite block at the moment. I'll take two blocks. Uh, we put two torches over here. Okay, and two torches, uh, and then blocks on top of these on top of these torches, like uh, like so. Okay, invert the torches again, like so. Okay, and then put some blocks on there. So this will just ensure that when I am, it is active, it'll be open, and when it's uh, inactive, it'll not open. So we can have a look. If I go away, you'll see the torches have switched off. The moment I come closer, the doors will open. Ah, okay, so let's just put it on this side. Let's just do that again. And if we come closer, maybe 
10 blocks is too much. There we go. So I'm just going to drop this radius to maybe 6, just so that it's easier to see 6. Okay, so 6 within... Right, so as I come closer, they'll open. And as I go away, it'll close. See? And that's it. That is as basic and as simple as it is. I'm sure this can be made smaller. If anybody has a smaller design than this, please, please do let me know. Um, I'd love to see this actually being made smaller. Um, and just to show you what happens if I... You'll see the doors are open, but if I now change my game mode, uh, game mode to uh, survival, you'll see it closes. So I cannot have entry at all unless I am in um, creative. All right, the same will work for, so let's just actually, okay, let me really show you. So let's just say, fine, I am in, in creative, but let's just change this and actually add some more. So we say, you'll see at the bottom, I have a level of 34. So we also say then level equal, uh, LM, le level minimum equals 40. All right, and then you'll see the door will close. So I can't get in, even though I'm in creative, I need to be at least a level 40 before I can go in. So let me just quickly give myself some uh, some XP. XP, um, uh, fifth, how many, how many, uh, just do 50 levels. Okay, and there you go. So the moment I've added those 50 levels, you'll see the door opens. Um, and you'll see I am here in the rogue team, which is, it's, I think it's team name L. So let's just do this as well. So um, let's just say uh, team, okay, is not level L2. Okay. So this should now close because I am, I am in the rogue team. So this is actually closed to me. But if I uh, give myself scoreboard uh, players set uh, Dragnos, uh, player status to uh, 100, I'll now become a knight and the door will open. Okay, so now you'll see how, how, how this command block is actually built up. So you can use this for anything. It is phenomenal and yeah, cool. Well guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, yeah, please, I uh, do appreciate a thumbs up and, uh, and a um, comment. Comments are always welcome. I try and answer as many as I can, but it is getting a bit difficult to answer some of the more trickier ones. Um, but yeah, please, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.